Thank you for joining the WoW Green Sims Getting Started with Sims tutorial. This tutorial covers the basics of finding projects and using the project selector. The goals of this tutorial are to learn the basics of the project selector, specifically using the project selector with the project identifier or PID, the contact company information, or the status code. And finally, you'll see several examples of finding projects that have been entered into SIMS via the website or manually. So let's get started. As usual, when you log into SIMS or are using SIMS, you are presented with the home page. To find projects in SIMS, we want to use the Projects button. As we know, the Projects button allows us to display projects in SIMS. The easiest thing to do is to click the Projects button and when the project selector shows up, click search. This is the simplest way to get to your projects immediately. Now let's try some other methods. After you've clicked the projects button, the project selector will show up. You have several ways to find projects. If you're looking for a specific project and know the project ID number, you can enter it in to the project identifier field. In this example, we'll enter in Project 622 and click the Search button. Immediately, SIMS will display Project 622 if this is your project or if somebody else has given you the ability to view this project. To return back to the selector and make another search, click on the Return to Selector button. When you're doing multiple searches, it's good to hit the Reset button to clear the project selector and start a new search. In this next example, we'll use the company name to search for a project. We will enter in Joe Percent. The percent sign is a wildcard. The wildcard allows you to search for any characters after or before it. For example, Joe Percent will find Joe's Joint and Joe's Bar and Grill if it exists. So here we entered in Joe and a percent sign and clicked the search button. We can see that this is another way of pulling up PID 622 or Joe's joint. Next, we'll use the project selector to pull up different types of status codes. If you remember, a status code is the specific stage of which your project is, so a lead, a prospect, engaged, or a customer. In this example, we're going to select a status code of prospect to pull up all the prospects in SIMS. And we'll click the search button and you'll see that there are two prospects in the database. So let's review what we've learned. We've learned the basics of the project selector. Firstly, that you can immediately click the project button and then click the search button and get a view of all your projects. Or you can be more specific and use the project identifier or the PID in the project selector to pick up a specific project and you can use the contact company name to pull up specific information for that particular company or if you'd like to pull up all the projects in a specific status code you can do that also and finally we chose three examples of how to pull up projects in SIMS that have either been entered in via the website or manually so thank you for viewing the Getting Started with Sims tutorial on the basics of finding projects and using the project selector.